Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7. And I want to remind you that I can only continue to bring you this incredible, life-saving, very important science based off of your contributions, donations, letters, and care packages and gifts. And I'm having a fundraiser this weekend trying to raise money to get my medicine so I can concentrate like a laser beam focus through hurricane season. Um, you can make a donation through my PayPal link and my address will be in the information box. And I've been doing it this way for three years because I've been doing such an amazing job. Now, let's get to the point. I was looking at, I got this weird feeling that we're going to see California get hit by a hurricane. So I looked it up. What was the strongest hurricane ever to hit California? And it was a 1958, or I'm sorry, 1858 San Diego hurricane. Okay? That was category one. And then I checked in on the biggest California earthquakes in the history of mankind that we know of. All right? So you got a 7.9. Hey, guess what? January 9th, 1857. 7.8, April 18th, 1906. March 26th, 1872, 7.4, and a 7.4 in 9, November 8th, 1980. And I do want to point out, I, Thor of Thor News, at the beginning of the year, due to the position of the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus, on May 22nd, I said at the beginning of the year, but I said on May 22nd, the North American Ring of Fire in Canada will be under alert for volcano eruptions and major earthquakes and that lasts for six years and then we had the 7.1 with a 6.5 in July and then the 7.1 now what I'm going to show you is every the, the point I've been trying to show is that we get major earthquakes and the west coast volcano activity when the gas giants are on the same side the New Madrid earthquake, which made the Mississippi River change direction, happened when all the gas giants were on the same side. So let's go through this. 1858. That was the date of the hurricane, okay? So this happened on October 2nd, 1858. So the hurricane happened on October 2nd, 1858. All the gas giants, Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, where'd you go? Neptune, look, all on the same side. 1858. 1906, April 18th, which is a 7.8 earthquake. Guess what? Gas giants, all on the same side, although... Uranus and Neptune are opposing each other. Okay, so then let's go to 18, 1872, March 25th. One day off. Same thing though, 7.4 earthquake. All the gas giants. Jumping around. Dang, I've ruined the surprises. Yeah, all the gas giants on the same side. Of the sun. And then you get the straight line and balance. 1980. Here you go. November 8th, 1980. All the gas giants on the same side and not only that you get Jupiter and Saturn almost totally lined up and no coincidence what we're looking at now is the election date of 2020 so we are definitely going to be seeing more earthquake activity and possible volcano eruptions on the west coast 
between now and the election and until Jupiter goes all the way around. Um, let me see if I can hit the right button. Which one are you? Okay, there you go. Why don't you play? Anyway, so what I'm saying, so like this is the election, man. Like in the election, they will have just passed opposition. But look how massive Jupiter and Saturn are compared to Earth. Look how big Uranus and Neptune are compared to Earth. I mean, clearly, even a kindergartner could see that with these planets on the same side, it's going to affect us in major ways. And so this is the alignment for today. And you can see that there's no balance in our solar system. And that the imbalance will continue until Jupiter comes back around this way, which will be another six years. So I pretty much been over the last year tracking every major hurricane and every major earthquake in the United States of America, Canada, and every major volcano eruption in the USA, including the Cascadia 9.5 or whatever. And they all happen when all the gas giants are on the same side, when there is no balance. So like every single one. And so, you know, it's knowing that we've just entered this imbalanced stage, there is like a 99% chance we are going to see a larger West Coast earthquake eruption than a 7.1. Now, uh, I know that I've gotten a lot of blowback from Google slash YouTube. Like, literally, I'm losing like 10, 20 subscribers a day. Uh, and my numbers are lower now with 55,000 subscribers than they were when I had 3,000 subscribers on views, but that's because the West Coast bubble, they don't want you to know this information. And I don't necessarily think anyone along the coast over the next six years is going to be safe. Any major earthquakes we get in an ocean could cause a tsunami. But, you know, it's going to be lit, man, and... You know, we live in an economy where we are both the consumer and now the consumed. Um, it's just a straight up fact. That's why like it's seven years. I've been telling you, don't believe the political bullshit because politicians are basically mascots for Wall Street. And so we look at how they respond in major natural disasters. I mean, heck, the president, technically in the middle of a forest fire that killed 90 people, blamed forest management when it turned out to be the PG&E power company that is now going bankrupt that quote-unquote caused the fire. Um, when we lost 5,000 people in Puerto Rico, we got blamed, they got blamed for having a lot of debt, which is a really ironic thing for presidents to say when we have a $22 trillion debt. And so I'm just saying, man, I represent you, the people. I put my life on the line. I've given everything I have to figure this stuff out and tell you guys the truth as far as I see it. And so I know a lot of times the assholes will say, learn to swim. But like, man, all the people in California, 18 million are Republicans. So it's disgusting to think that you would sacrifice 18 million people to get a political win. It's disgusting to think that anyone would sacrifice a single human being to make any money. It's like we're dealing with a weird version of like Silicon Valley, Aztec, Spanish Inquisition, the modern age. And so the more and more they roll out bullshit stories for the public to consume, the closer we are getting to a big cataclysm. And now <clears throat> another thing the media is they're going to try and do is Play this up as super climate change. And so it's going to get more earthquakey, more, more volcano y. The storms will get stronger. 
this September and October should be lit on hurricanes. And then they're going to just blame the carbon. And then they're going to offer a carbon tax as a solution. Which won't actually reduce the carbon, man. It's like cigarette taxes don't reduce smoking. Anyway, so this is just another video I'm putting out that probably get me in more trouble. And, um, but as a man of the people, the planet, and the animals, and a protector of all, I feel compelled to do this until my last dying day. Whether that be tomorrow or 30 years from now. But I survive, thrive, and hopefully can super focus with your help. So yes, I am asking again, if, you, if, if you're out there and can donate, uh, PayPal works sometimes, I think. The safest, most absolute thing is snail mail. I want to thank everybody. I've got a Patron. Like I have a $5 option. Um, Venmo, Cash App. But yeah, I do a great job, man. Um, and most of the time I get shit. Although, Asteroid Fight Club has been amazing. I don't want my frustration to sound like I don't appreciate everything everyone's done. It's just, it's a slog. I, I wasn't surprised that when I pulled this up, so I got like 78 bucks to go just to get the, the goal for the medicine. And then I, I'd like to eat and stuff. Yeah, dude, I mean, we have another big earthquake coming to the West Coast in the next six years. And like, if this doesn't convince you, every major earthquake in California came with the gas giants on the same side, whether it be 1858, 1872, 1980, oops, oh, that's, that's the new one that I just pulled, and so, yeah, I don't know, I can only put the information out there, 1906, and remember, so on the same side with the 1858 stuff, that is when you get so I wouldn't be surprised to get a hurricane. You know. A hurricane up in the coast. It's happened before. Another thing I want to point out. If you've seen my guitar video. Where yes I'm, I've gained a lot of weight. This is me right before. I started my YouTube channel. I was in perfect shape man. I pretty much have given up everything. To alert the people. And to try and unite people, though I've totally failed on that level. Um, if I sound a little frustrated, because I am. So yeah, don't be surprised if we get a bigger earthquake in the next six years. I warned you. Don't be surprised if you get a hurricane in the next six years. I warned you. Don't be surprised if you get a volcano eruption in South or North California, possibly Oregon, possibly Washington, possibly uh, Canada, you know, the you have Popocatépetl, the volcano down here that's been going off nonstop all year. You have Fuego, you have Kalima, you have two more that are down here. And so it's only a matter of time, I believe, since, until we see these volcanoes get lit. All right, I put this information out there. It's the best I can do. YouTube will keep it locked in a the, in the box and then the... The ice, mini Ice Age salesmen will steal half the views anyways. So, um, I'll try and get in a better mood. If you do want to help, if you can help, that would be wonderful. Um, but remember, without your help, dude, there's nobody else bringing you this information. The people who are doing really well aren't bringing you information like this. They're usually trying to sell you some type of political bullshit one way or another. All right. God bless everyone. I'm going to try and cheer up. It's just, I don't know, man. And like now, a lot of people are like, hurricane season's a dud. It's like, dude, middle of September, middle of October, it'll be lit. Trust me. All right. I mean, although with the giant Azores high, the one thing that could make my hurricane predictions not be accurate is this giant Azores high here. I mean, that could totally 
screw up my prediction, which would be great because that means we don't get hit by any hurricanes. Because usually the Azores highs, it, it goes like here. And so the hurricanes will come off and then come up or come out. And so with it extending all the way to the volcano range, that may prevent any type of development that hits the coast, which would screw up my prediction of one going right about here in the middle of September and one going here. Although I think the one, the Eris alignment one will make it. The Neptune alignment one will be interesting to see. Um, but, you know, like I said, and these are all volcanic islands. I wouldn't be any type of a surprise volcano eruption 5% on the table. Like, basically, you see a volcano erupt anywhere. It's like your skin, where you can bleed from almost any orifice. I'm pretty sure magma can pop out of almost anywhere. Although I wouldn't really worry about that. We got enough shit to worry about. All right, everybody, stay cool. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, like I said, that. Why do you think this is the biggest housing bubble? I mean, I know for a fact. I mean, I have dealt with in person multiple times some of the biggest real estate owners in NorCal. I know for a fact they don't like this information getting out. I'm pretty sure they're behind a lot of the, like, direct energy weapon shit. And the geoengineering shit. Because they want you to think that someone is in control when they are not. It's just like Superman 2 with Lex Luthor, where, like, they're people who want to profit off of knowledge you are not given. So, yeah, you better thank God that there are guys like me out there still. And do what you can to protect me and support me if you can. Anyway, okay, love you guys. Stay cool.